You ever look at something and be like, I actually own all this garbage? Hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, for a while, people have been asking, what do you have in your collection? Like, you do the whole YouTuber thing where you're talking in front of your shelf and it's like, oh man, look at all his cool merchandise behind him. I wonder how much money he spent. Because that's really the only uh, discriminating factor between uh, those who have these dumb shelves and those who do not. Just the choice to spend money. Um, but I, in my defense, I don't know how much defense I could have. I have a fucking Makoto over there. In my defense, uh... I have a lot of these as the things I bought when I was younger, um, and I'm looking to expand my collection. Uh, actually, I may have to do this once every year because uh, I've started recently buying more games uh, to fill up parts of my collection that I wanted to get started on, which we'll get to. But this is currently all I have. I have another shelf just uh, right now. I actually, I moved since, you probably did notice, but I moved since uh, um, some more recent videos. Like, uh, the, over the years of my channel, I've lived in two other places, and this is the third place I've lived. Uh, this one has the least amount of space. So I don't really have a set for my YouTube stuff. I kind of just do it in my living room, and... Uh, I mean, I'm planning on moving again. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hopefully next time I will have an office so I can have like the, I have my shit set up in a space that uh, I think is nice. Because as much as I like having these, uh, this shit, I, lo I, lo I love all of this. Uh, I don't like it taking up so much of my like living space because, you know, as much as I love all of this stuff, it's like not my entire life. Uh, Actually, I mean, I do videos on it, and I spend all day on those videos, so technically, it's a big part of my life, but, you know, I do other stuff. I'd, I'd like to live in a, in a house, and have, like, places where I can, like, have people gather without all of the- without, like, Makoto hitting them in the face, you know? Because that ass is just fucking out there. I don't know- I hate that. Can we talk about that right now? I went to Japan to get this Makoto. That's the reason, actually. I went to Japan with friends. We all wanted to go to Japan. It was a great trip. Fantastic trip. Um... And the thing you'll know about these figures is they are unbelievably expensive. I think it's like $400 if you order it right now, and that's USD. So for Canadians, it's like 500 I think this Makoto was 200 um, yen. Or not 200 yen, $200 converted if you converted it from yen. Um, and as with most, I mean, I think it's a really nice figure. Let's see if we can't get a little closer on here. The great part about it, which I'll show off in a second, is you can actually use Yohana and it, it works like a, a little bicycle. You can actually like fling that across the room if you wanted to and it will roll. Um, so my plan is for like my firstborn child, I'll, I'll give it to them as like their Tonka toy, except it's literally Yohana. Get them started on Persona 5 early, that's the plan. But um, yeah, the figure, what I was saying about it from the very start, like... It's fine to sexualize them, I guess. I don't know if it's fine. <laughs> That's not a good way of putting it. It's fine, I don't give a shit, but, like, that doesn't even match the character, and she was... The, Makoto just doesn't do that. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I guess they can do whatever the hell they want. They're the, I bought it, so who do, what the fuck? But, uh, yeah, I just don't like... Even in the anime, they sexualize Makoto. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> I guess she is wearing leather and all that, but... Come on. Like, not once in the game was it ever brought up in that way, I guess. Anyways, that's just a Japanese thing. They just... Mikasa, so uh, to make a long story short, my sister found this at a, it's sort of like an auction, sort of, um, in, a, in a bin for like $10. So this Mikasa figure is not even close to $10, but we got it for $10. But yeah, I mean, I like Attack on Titan. It's a very good manga, very good anime. I actually read up until the current arc and now the new arc is out so i'm like oh, i guess i'll watch it again i kind of want to see how it ends so uh yeah we'll see what we'll see how that goes definitely not going great for some people anyways and marcus phoenix wow alax you like a mature game and lo and behold it's like the mature game yeah i really liked gears of war like a lot the first console i had that wasn't a nintendo console was an xbox 360 and I fell in love with Gears of War. Even if it is kind of like the pinnacle of toxic masculinity in terms of like, we're muscle men and we're gonna like shoot shit and like, fuck, like, fuck, man, I'm so strong. Ah. Like, yeah. Um, I, I think I liked the gameplay a lot. It was, it was designed pretty well for a shooter and I really liked the third person over the shoulder look. Uh, it was very fun. I loved all three of the games and then I did not play any of them past that and I heard they were not good. But Gears of War 3, I was super excited for. I, I got, what was that game called? Um, 
Bulletstorm, Bulletstorm, and it had a beta for Gears of War 3 online, and that shit was so fun. Like, I'm talking the beta, like, that, I was on that every second it was available. It was so much damn fun. Um, and I played a lot of Gears of War 3 online. That was, wow, that was years ago. I can't believe, that was well before I was a YouTuber, man. God, that was the first online game I played, and I was like, that was when I would get angry at online games because I wasn't used to it, and now I'm like much more laid back. But man, yeah, I remember getting so pissed at the, what was it, the sawed off shotgun? And I was just, I was like, I was younger, so I was like, first online game, and I'm like, damn it! And people were toxic online, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I'm so glad I don't, I do not play online games like that. They can be so toxic, and um, but yeah, fun game. What we got up here? Um, another Makoto, Ganon, Uraraka. And uh, the Persona 5 Royal bonus edition mask. That shit is like, what is it? It's just a very easy to break material. It might be plastic, but I feel like it isn't. Oh, ceramic. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's made of ceramic. Um, but yeah, I have my Figmas. Uh, one of them is my sister and some friends bought me some other one for my birthday. And I believe one of our patrons, I think it was, I don't want to say your name actually, just in case. But uh, I, I got that from Super Smash Con in what, 2016? Oh my god. Life is crazy. Can you? I can't believe this shit, man. But thank you for all of these, man. And then obviously I bought Persona 5 Royal. The box is right there. <laughs> all right, you ready for this? Oh my God. He actually sawed off the top half of this amiibo for video puns. Like, what a freak. <laughs> uh, I really like Olimar's amiibo. This was the first one I bought and it reminds me exclusively of like the Olimar Know Your Moves. Uh, that shit takes me really back to like when I first started and you know, say what you will about like my videos now. I think they're much better, but there's something really honest about like your first dive into making videos because you don't really have any dry, you don't really know where you're going with it. And this, like who does a Know Your Move series? Like it was such a weird niche series idea. And I'm, I just had so much fun with it at the time. I guess I could talk about my books, but I didn't read half of them, so what's the point? This is hilarious. I kind of want to do a video on this because there's just so much shit in here that is just, it is so cool. And they're like, you know, Smash is a game for everyone. It's so easy. It definitely is not. This is a hard game. Like, look at all these terms you'd have to know. And then Ganondorf over here, just like down airing. Like, that, that, that's the shit I appreciate. So this is a star book, but actually it's the Super Mario Bros. Encyclopedia. It's very cool. Um, it's a fun just like dive. Like I, I've played all of these games, so this is a really fun just like retrospective of all this. My favorite part is it has all of these images of all of the enemies, which for someone who loves looking up like different versions of enemies, it is so fun. I kind of wanted to do a video on forgotten Mario enemies over history because there are so many. Oh my word. Look, oh, sunshine shit. Uh, the last of them I'm gonna show off, uh, who baby. This kinda has spoilers, so I don't, how much do I wanna do? We'll just do like the first page. Oh, I, I gotta be delicate with this because the art is just so clean. My boy, look at them. Look at all their outfits. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, it's so beautiful. They're so cute. Ah, oh, amazing. Oh yeah, no need to say anything. I know what you're thinking. This is uh, my Shrek stuff. Kind of a spoiler because I'm showing you all this early, but uh, Here's my Shrek Special Edition VHS custom in the box still. That, man, like, no need for words. That explains itself. And, you know, I can't go anywhere without Shrek 2 on VHS. Never leave home without it, but in case I do leave home and I don't have it with me, I'll always have the DVD version as well, because you can't go wrong with two. And then if I ever don't have either of those, I have the full collection, so, you know, I'm stuck on a desert island, we got it handled. And then in terms of games, this is all I have in terms of physical, like, animal, or, wow. 3DS, I don't have a crazy amount of because, lo and behold, he hasn't played it. But I'm actually, oh, thank you, BB, for getting me Q2. Um, I have a lot of them, and I played the ones I do have, just, I don't like 3DS, uh oh, the cats are fighting. I don't like 3DS games, they're too small a screen, I'm getting a capture card soon, so I can change that, that's sort of the plan. I'm kind of upset because a lot of my Switch games are digital. Like, I have the case for Odyssey, and, uh, this one's not digital. This one I got physical, so I'm like, I want a physical game. Oh man, another game you played, like, five hours of, and woohoo! Uh, <laughs> literally the same thing. <laughs> Uh, this one I got pretty deep into, and I just stopped. I don't remember why. There was probably another game that came out. 
Um, yeah, a lot of these, uh, pr oh, pff, no, get that out of here, get that out of here, get that out of here. Oh, have you ever bought something that you only played for five hours? Amazing. Amazing. Why do you haunt me? Cat's licking Missy. Hold on. Boom. There they are. Oh, you little stink bomb. He stopped when I turned it on him. Hello, what are you gonna do? Um, this little fella, he always needs to be involved. He always gotta, he's always gotta be around. And because I'm showing off everything, he's like, well, you've taken my sleeping spot. I guess I will sleep on top of your copy of 1-2-Switch. You know, honestly, buddy, you could, like, use it as a litter for all I care. Missy's just unconcerned. And then there's a lot of other merch here. Like, obviously, Monica, officially the official Monica plush. Like, I don't like buying plushies because they take up so much space, but I kind of wanted this one as, like, a memento of, like, my channel. And also, I did, like, DDLC and that whole part. Like, I, I thought it was cool, so supporting indie game developers. And then this was a custom made from Etsy. I don't have the artist with me on hand, but it was specific for the video I used it in. Um, and plus, it, it's just sort of nice to have such a, like, piece of shit at power up. I, I love it. And I don't even cosplay as it, so... Before we get to the Wii U games... Put it in my fucking coffin. Um, PS4, like, I haven't been... Literally, it was my Persona machine. Haha, <laughs> he's so funny. But, like, I got it because I wanted to play Persona 4, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't gotten those ones yet, and, um, what's the other one? Nier Automata. But, uh, I played Bioshock. I, I need to get back and play, like, 2 and 3. Uh, and it also want I also wanted it for the Last of Us games, which I have opinions on, but I wouldn't say they were, like, nothing experiences. And then, still gotta play this. Oh, still gotta play this. I'm not really good at rhythm games, so that's why I haven't played that. And I have not played this. I don't even know where I got it, to be honest. <laughs> Like, I don't have a huge collection. It's more of this stuff over here that's the big money makers. Let's start with some of the new stuff I have because I'm... Oh, well, I can't ignore this. This is... the. This is getting a video very soon. That's all I'll fucking say. And this already got a video. I could care less about it. But uh, here's some of the new stuff. I don't have a lot of SNES games. I think one's actually in the console, I think. But I want to start upgrading the collections here because... uh. I just think it's very neat playing things on their official hardware. Um, I got Super Mario Kart and Zelda, but obviously I want some more of the uh, classics. The NES is where I've been working on. I actually have a lot more NES games now. Um, well, almost knocked it out. We got Zelda. It's like shining, so it looks white. Sight Bike. Um, Mario Bros. Uh, Metroid. Gol golf! Golf! Uh, Jagro Mike for my Rob the Robot, but I don't have any of his fucking... That's another thing. All the Rob attachments, I'll show off Rob in a second. All the Rob attachments literally are so expensive and hard to find. It's... I had no idea until I went looking for them. And the other games stack up. It's like... Well, I thought it was like $700. I'm like, th for what? It's, it's literally the most garbage game. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you Robert. Look at him. He's so... This is, like, I love this so much. Like, obviously, useless, like, paperweight, but a pretty expensive paperweight, and I like because it's part of Nintendo's history that I actually have my own now. Uh, I only really saw it in, like, the the Rob the Robot Angry Video Game Nerd, and Mario Kart DS, and Smash Bros. Brawl. I'm like, who the hell is this idiot? Like, I never heard of him. And now I have him, and I'm really excited. I want to, like, get one of his games going, but you need all the materials... I guess I could buy some, like, second-hand made ones. Like, I don't really care about the official value of his little pellets or whatever, the, the, the tops. Um, yeah, he does not have any batteries. Look at the, look at that sucker. You need two big-ass D batteries. Like, dude. You didn't need that for Brawl. Um, yes. Oh, yeah, we were talking about the last of these games. Uh, basically, it's just Mario 2, Ice Climber, and uh, two copies of Super Mario Bros. 3. I kind of was like... Well, okay, so it's weird to find NES games in the wild. In Canada, we have this thing called Value Village. Um, that's the last place I thought I'd find Mario 3, but lo and behold, I found it with this red label on it. Like, I haven't seen the red label ones, and it's I think it just says not for redistribution. Oh, no, it says NES. Uh, oh, no, this is the Japanese? I don't know. I don't know what this version is. Like, it's pretty scuffed, and when I started playing it, it didn't work, but I got it to work. I don't know what the difference with, like, they're just different, older one, newer one, I have no idea. Um, but there's that, and this is the newest thing I have, it's, uh, Pokemon Red. I know. What a hypocrite. But, 
there's a reason I'm collecting these games, and it will become apparent maybe in a year. <laughs> so, we, yeah, let's move on to the Wii U, because we're almost wrapped up. I thought I had more Wii U games, but this is pretty much it. There's some hiding back here, but... Um, First we have the Xbox games. Uh, like I said, I was, this was my first non-Nintendo console and for all, like now I only have a PS4. Like I didn't have a PS3, I didn't have much of the other ones. But here we go, baby. I hope the camera doesn't die. Like most of these were my younger brothers. Like, oh God, a large place connect adventures. I knew he was the aficionado. Um, Madden 13, please, why do I have that? Oh, here. I own, this was basically my Grand Theft Auto machine. I loved this game so much. I, it's like the one I played the most of. I didn't really like 5 because of the story, but I think it was just because I'm nostalgic and I love Liberty City so much because I memorized it. That's the type of gamer I am. Like, It's not about the game being good, it's about how many memories I have and how much I liked the world and how much I memorized it and that, maybe that's the whole thing. Like, and I don't know why I have Java Edition or Xbox 360. Bayonetta! Yeah, have not finished. Need to do that, but at least I have it. Um, and then like I said, Gears of War 2. Oh my god. What are we doing here? Ugh. Gears 2, and then Gears 3, and this weird... Like, I had the special edition with the statue and everything. It had so much bullshit. And then GTA V's uh, hard case, whatever. Fuck it. Like, you know how long it took to download this on the Xbox 360? Like, what a joke. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, there really weren't other ones. I have... This is funny. Kung Fu Panda's hilarious... Er, Indiana Jones Kung Fu Panda that comes with your Xbox 360, man. This was when they had the old, I remember specifically when I started this up, it was the first edition menu of Xbox 360, and it looked like such trash. It was so bad. All it did was pan from one screen to another. It would be like, you know how you select on the Wii, you select a channel and you can go flip through them right to left on like the side? That's what the Xbox 360 one looked like, and it was so bad. Um, that's how I remember playing these two games, though. This is actually not a bad platformer. Neither is Indiana Jones, but maybe it's just because I was not that introduced to many games. Um, oh, wow. Sonic Generation. I always forget I have this. I'm pretty sure it is on Steam, and I don't know if I have it on Steam. Whatever. All of them are on Steam. It's very weird. Weird future. And then, whoo, the Wii U. I love this console. What a game. Now it's on Switch. What a game. Not on Switch yet. Don't put it on Switch. It's mostly on Switch. What else is on Switch? Oh, you know, there are these legacy games that are on, like, Wii U, and people will never get to experience them because when they stop producing the pads, we're in trouble. <laughs> so whoever has, like, well, I know who has 12 Wii U's. Stupid cloth the gauze. Um, oh, yeah, this is a good game. But they put this on Switch, right? Yeah, they put this on Switch. Uh, I'm not wrong. This is, I think this is on Switch. Didn't they have a collection or going to? I don't know, I forget. Uh, it's really more of a question that isn't an original game on Switch. These are Lego games that I were my brothers that I have for some reason. Skylanders, Disney Infinity, again, not mine. Um, Joshi's Woolly World, that's, oh no, wait, they have Crafted World, so it's sort of on Switch, sort of. And then another, like, Wii U exclusive that I don't know they could do any, because game, like, whatever you say, Gamer was such a good part of this game. And the one where you're, like, flinging the schlonks, like, good game, good game. Sad that it'll never get the light of day. I wouldn't be a YouTuber if I didn't have a bunch of games I haven't played yet. But these ones, I've mostly played all of them, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, before that, I got this um, at Too Many Games, what, 2017? 2018? Uh, good find. Great find. I love having actual, like, cool-looking merch from games that uh, you could kind of have forever, and it's sort of like a memento. Uh, and this was just... I love this Starman, so super cool. Glad I got that when I could. Um, I don't need to go through the DS games. A lot of these I got for that PictoChat Prowler video. Uh, that was a fun video to make, but man, I have so many useless DS games. Like, I'm just shocked. Napoleon, like, there's so many. Which is the weirdest one? I hmm. Like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Like, clearly not if I bought it. I do this as a joke for so many, but, like, this is so funny to me. This, this My Stop Smoking Coach. Like, unbelievable. And the place I bought that, too, it was some pawn shop. It wasn't, like, game exclusive. It had, like, 12 copies. I should have gotten each and every one of them. But now we have my Wii game and these glasses. They actually are prescription, but they... 
They were from this really crap website, if I'm being honest, and look at this, it's like made of elastic bands. Again, like, these are all Wii games, like, if you watch my channel, I've probably talked about many of these or have footage of some of these at some point. Um, I guess I haven't played Pikmin 2, but I've heard the Pikmin 2 on the, the Wii is not bueno, so maybe I will get the GameCube one first. Uh, of all of these games, I mean, I have siblings, so some of the kiddier games like Poke Park, I have not touched, but I remember helping my brother because it was, like, dummy simple. Uh, yeah, like, a lot of these introduced me, this was, like, era when I already was a gamer, but it cemented in that I loved these series. Man, like, it just, it's cool to look back on these. This is in my official copy, I think it broke or got lost. That's the problem, I didn't think, I don't think I was very careful with my games. I was a piece of shit. I am better now. <laughs> and, yeah, I, for the Wii games, this is pretty much as far as it goes. These are the ones I want to talk about. Uh... So these are my N64 games. Similar to my SNES and NES games, I kind of want to expand. Like, this one I got from a friend I talked about in that Banjo-Kazooie video. Bought it off of him. This one, so, let's see, uh, Mario 64, um, Cruising USA, and then the N64 I have. I don't have it on the shelf or anything, but both of those, I got both of these games, an N64, two controllers, for $10 at a garage sale. It was like... That is my, like, gaming story of, like, I got so lucky, so now I don't have to buy an N64 in a bunch of these games. Although I think these are pretty, like, you can get them anywhere. I was just happy to get it, and it was, like, I, I got, I walked to the garage sale, it was down the street from where I lived, I bought it, or I went home, grabbed all the loonies and toonies I could find, which are Canadian one and two dollar currency, gave it to the kid, and I'm like, yes, I ran home with it, like, just... So eager, plugged that shit in, and I was playing Mario 64 in all its horrible glory. And it was not, it didn't have, like, um, composite. It was literally, uh, what is it called? You had to use the coaxial cable to plug it into the cable jack, and, like, weird. It was so glitchy. I loved it. I'll never forget that about Mario 64. And I had, I had a blast. Like, yeah, it was hard to control, but that's the N64. <laughs> oh, shitty Kong racing. Uh, Donkey Kong 64, both of these need to play, but now that I actually have uh, the money to get an adapter, I, I want to record and play through these, like, like, real good. I'm gonna crack these off my list. Oh, and this I got from my friend, I think I talked about. Oh yeah, I got this for my birthday. Isn't that funny? You know why it's funny? Because it's my, do you get it? I don't know why this is here, between, oh, no. Alright, and these are literally the oldest games I own. Uh, which also include, oh, these are kind of far, aren't they? Oh, you can't see that. Including my really old, oh my god, including my really old Game Boy Advance games. Like, I don't, I, these are the ones I got, like, two seconds in, but they were so, like, poorly made, because they were just trying to make a quick buck. I, I've never completed this. I really want to go back and do that. Uh, I did beat this, the SpongeBob movie game. Oh my god. I did beat this, the Spongebob movie game, like, ah, uh, so these take me right the fuck back. Shrek 2, I got to a point where I didn't know how to jump over something, never went back to it. Shrek, uh, what is it called? Uh, Swamp Cart Racing or something? Sw like, this was, before Shrek was a franchise... It had a few games, and I kind of want to do a video on it because it was this weird era before Shrek 2 came out that had all of these, like, ideas of where Shrek could go and the, the, the characters that were in it. Like, Farquaad was like a... If you had, like, the Smash Bros. of Shrek, Farquaad was like Pikachu. <laughs> and this this game. And then it had Thel Thelonious, and it had all these, like, Shrek 1 characters, like, being made into the Shrek franchise. But after this point, you'd never see them again in Shrek movies. Um... I have no idea what this is. I think this was more fun than the last one. I think this had good music, but I really need to replay it and see because I have all the means to record it and my dumbass is like, if you're looking at this discoloring like what the hell happened? I remember distinctly losing this when I first got it. Then, oh, years later, my mom was cleaning the couch cushions and as far deep in the couch it could be, this little asshole was in the couch. And I'm like, oh shit. It horrendously covered in gunk. What universe did this get come out of? Maybe I traded from an alternate universe, Alex. And Finally, um, I could play all of them with this, because I have the adapter. It's actually down here. Just because uh, the GameCube, I have... I use this a lot for recording. 
I have like two memory cards. This sucker is huge. I forget how much is on it, but it's huge. And then I have this special adapter to record to HDMI and authentic uh, 480. But here's the last thing we're going to talk about, my GameCube games. Uh, most of these are where most of my memories are. So just to get it out of the way quickly, I have a second Jungle Beat here. Where is it? I think I put it away because I'm like, nobody needs to know I have two Jungle Beats, but I have two Jungle Beats. I also have two Luigi's Mansions. I just don't think they're both here because at some point I'm like, yeah, I don't need to show both of my Luigi's Mansions. So I was pretty big into Mario. This guy's like, this kid liked Mario. It explains a lot about why he didn't have too many friends. But Mario Party 6, Mario Party 5, didn't play it with a soul other than myself. And this one I got, like, I never played this as a kid. I just kind of have it because I wanted to collect more of them. Double Dash. Like, I already did a video on it, so I don't need to say how amazing I love it. This, I just did, I got it for a video because I never played it. Good times. Namco Museum is, like, where I experienced a lot of these games. This son of a bitch. This game I've never heard anyone else talk about except for me. It was such a weird game. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I have all the footage of it. I recorded, like, a full playthrough of this and everything. So, it will be a video one day. <laughs> Perfect game. Like, actually, if you could make a movie to game game, except for the Puss in Boots part, this was, this was perfect. These, these take me back, man. Obviously, I've talked about most of these. I kind of want to talk about the Sonic collections, but, like, what, what more could I say, right? I really loved Mega Collection. I spent so much time in it just because they kept all the debug stuff in Sonic, and that made it, like, one of the first games I really investigated, like, as far deeply as I could because... As a kid, when you have control of a game like that, it really is just like, it's just so cool. It lets your creativity go wild. Um, oh, and Sonic Gems, baby! This game was cool. I like this game. I really did. Oh, everyone hates Sonic R, but I'm like, that was such a cool game. Why have they not? I, I know, this is like my character. This is my fucking character, but. And uh, I never played Star Fox Temperatures. Don't, don't at me, please. Uh, this was a fun mini game collection. Don't at me, please. I need to make another video on this. At me, please. I just bought this, actually. I just bought this because I'm like, this was a fun game, wasn't it? And I played it, I'm like, yo, what? I forgot all about this. I love this game. And I, I never, actually, I did play Battle for Bikini Bottom. I think I rented it from Blockbuster and then never went back to it. I don't know why. I played this from Blockbuster and completed it. And I think that's probably why I liked it better. Um, oh my, don't even talk to me about garbage, garbage. Oh, boom. Actually, something that's cool. I don't know, actually. It's not for resale, so I know I'm in trouble, but... Great collection. You can actually play, um, yeah, you can play Zelda 2, Zelda 1, uh, Ocarina of Time, and Majora's Mask on this baby. It's, uh, pretty fire. All on one disc? Yeah, that's, I don't know why I'm fucking holding back. I'm gonna play this, and they all look better, and I can record them on my GameCube, so I don't, I don't need to get the cartridges, like, forget that. And then obviously Wind Waker. Wait, Wind Waker isn't on this. Oh, it includes a demo of Wind Waker. You think people have, like, I, I'm pretty sure those modders have, like, went into the demo of Wind Waker. Let me just see, see that. Go into the demo of Wind Waker and, uh, see what's different. Because I think they pack the full game there. There's no way they don't, right? I don't know. What do I know? Uh, we're almost at the end here. Sorry. More games I played that weren't Mario. This, I, I want to do a video on these, like, random games I played as a kid that nobody talks about. And this is one of them. It was, like, not a good game or anything. But I really liked it. <laughs> uh, it's not a good game or anything, but I really liked it. Hold on, where's his three copies of Melee? Only one of these copies works, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't even know where the disc is for one of them. And the other disc is scratched, as you could have seen from that video on it. And uh, yeah, the player's choice section. What's in here? Oh, I know what's in here. Garbage. Yeah, this was my only Spyro experience. No wonder I didn't like it. This game, I never played Versus, but I've heard the Versus is actually kind of cool if you get it working, but it's just kind of like, why would you do that? Gaming Perfection, not much to say. We'll make a video on it again. You know, there are a lot of games here that I made videos on and they're really short and like crap, but I kind of want to go back and do a little bit more justice to these games because they were really good. Like this, like, I made such a short video on Paper Mario and as a YouTuber, I'm like, can I even go back? I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know if I can go back and do it, but I kind of want to one day. We'll see. I would have too much to say about it, and sometimes I'm just like, well, does anyone care? I don't know. Love it. Also love it. Like, I've already made videos on... I didn't do one on DX, or Adventure. I called it DX. As a kid, me and my sister and everyone I knew, we just called it Sonic DX. Like, we didn't know it was Sonic Adventure. We just knew it was DX. 
So I never really put it as like Sonic Adventure 1 in my mind. Sonic Adventure 2 was just its own entity and it happened to have a 2 in it because it was that much better than that to me. But I um, don't <laughs> Kirby's Air Ride, fucking baller. This got a video on it and I'm pretty happy with that video. Uh, this is Dion's. Thanks, Dion. Oh, God, no! Dion! Ah, uh, oof. Ah, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Godzilla. This, okay, this was also one of those games that, like, people played, but I just loved it. It was so cool. I didn't know anything about these, like, guy. Is that what called? Gaijins? I don't know. Kaiju, not Gaijins. That's, that's a whole other term. Uh, Kaijus. And I'm just like, this is a really cool game. I like to hit in the big robot one. And King... What was it? Destroyer. Very fun game. Another video that I could do if I wanted. Oh, what? What? Th what? I, th this just reminded me of all the games I want to talk about more. Like this too. I really liked Heroes. Like people really hate Heroes Online. But I argue it was probably one of the better 3D ones in terms of Sonic core design. But that's a whole other topic. Uh, and we're, the Sonic design isn't good. I'm just saying it's the most like the 2D games. If you put it in 3D. Oh shit, that's the opinion police. And, uh, what better way to cap it off? Except I think there are some more things I want to see. What's your Tinder.com? I think I'll leave off because I have this, which I collected from my parents' house, which is something I don't. Let's see if it falls. Oh my god. Uh, this is my DVD binder of games. And Jesus Christ, we had so many computer games. I should have been a YouTuber that talked specifically about all this garbage. That should have been my fucking legacy, but here we are. God, Scream Team Training. So many. Game of Life. Fruit Loops. How to be a millionaire. Who wants to be a millionaire? How do you be a millionaire? I never knew. A lot of these I really wish I could talk about. And then all of the covers and sleeves are in here, surprisingly. We retained all of them. Thank God my sister's very organized. Let's uh, end the shot with everything, or the aftermath. Thank you everybody for watching this. Uh, this is something I should have done a long time ago, but maybe next year I can do a follow-up with all the new stuff I have, if there's actually enough of it. Um, if there's anything you want, like, similar to this, I kind of do like the idea of reading through the Smash Bros. Ultimate um, guidebook, because that shit is thick. I haven't actually looked at it fully. Um, not to copy Scott or anything, I just came to my mind. But if there's anything like this or more tutorials, let me know. I'm uploading once a week on this channel of just shit like this. So take it easy, everybody. I will see you on the flip side.